When elementary school let out that early June afternoon, we ran down Birch Lane steps into the welcoming of blissful summer days. With her fresh lakes and salty oceans, Italian ices and rainbow-colored sherbet, splashing our friends in the pool when they turned back around, riding retired racehorses in the cool of dawn, camping out in Montauk, with the waves pounding like a pianist on piano keys. It was music to drift off to in my sleeping bag. Neighborhood dog running right behind their young master on their bicycle, hummingbirds hovering happily in front of my face. Hamburgers and hot dogs sizzling on the grill, with charcoal heated perfectly, making s'mores while sitting close to the fire pit, fending off pesky mosquitoes with sticky repellent, fireflies beckoning us at dusk, celebrating the royal holidays of summer, Memorial Day and the 4th of July, fireworks bursting the humid, clear night sky, the nightly gathering of the melody of crickets outside our open windows that would lull us asleep under the bright moon. The ambrosial honeysuckle and lavender, sunflowers rising tall and golden yellow, my tan legs so contrast to my white socks. I was the age of 12 with an innocent crush on a 14-year-old boy whose name I didn't know. He smiled at me, passing by me on his skateboard. The rest of that August day was heaven. Right after a thunderstorm, would I especially feel summer's soft embrace, reading poetry in dappled sunlight beneath the trees, the songbirds singing, it wasn't time yet to worry about trying to pass math class, as Labor Day seemed so distant. Youth, I pleaded for you to not go away. I hold on tightly to those summer days, hidden like gold in my memory.